Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we're checking out this uh, redstone door over here. And if you want to see the showcase of this door, I'll leave a link down in the description. We've got some cool replay mod editing um, and stuff like that uh, with some music. Um, so make sure to check that out. But in today's video, we're going to be doing the tutorial. So this door is actually a aquarium door. So as you can see, it's got the little fish in there in the water. Um, and you press the lever and the fish will be retracted into the floor and you can walk through this one by two door as if the fish was not even there and the door is 100% seamless as you can see so there is no visible redstone and it looks as if normal and then you press the lever and the fish is dispensed back up and as you can see once again no visible redstone and you can activate this as many times as you want and it works really nicely. There are a couple more things to mention before we get on with the tutorial. The first thing is that there'll be a complete list of all of the items needed to build this door down in the description um, and there'll also be a IP to a server where I have built this uh, build on so you can visit my plot my in-game name will also be down there um, and using that you can visit my plot and look at the contraption for yourself. So the build is going to be 3 deep, it's going to be 10 high and it's going to be 13 wide and the space you're going to want to clear out is going to be 2 blocks underneath the door, it's going to be 4 blocks above the door and then it's going to be 5 blocks either side of the door like so and 5 blocks on the other side. And of course it's going to be 3 deep which is the width it needs to be because these are the door blocks and of course the fish is going to go in the centre. We're going to start off by doing just one side of the door and then later on we'll replicate that on the other side and then we'll make the modifications because some the sides need to be different on both sides. So we're going to start off and we're just going to break away two blocks here um, on this side of the door and place in two sticky pistons like that. Then we're going to place a piston down like this uh, above with a gap and then a piston up like this with a gap um, like so and then we're going to do the wiring so we're going to place a solid block next to each of those pistons like so and then we're going to place in two temporary blocks like this with a note block there and then we're going to have three uh, observer blocks facing upwards here running into a note block once again and then we're going to have an observer block running into this piston like so um, then we're going to come down by two observer blocks, running that into a note block, and then have a third observer block powering this bottom piston. And then we're going to go up by one observer block, have a note block, and then power this piston with an observer block like that. And that is the first section of the door done. So the next step is to come over to this side, and we're going to break away these two blocks and replace them with stairs like so. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to break away this block here, and we're going to place in two sticky pistons facing to the edge like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a block and place behind it with a comparator running in there and I'm going to come up with some temporary blocks like so and then place a sticky piston downwards here so we're going to break away these blocks then it's up to you you can either use a cauldron and fill it with water or you can use a composter and fill it with um, any item that can fit in the composter um, I would recommend using a composter simply because it's cheaper it only requires wood and generally the items you can put in it are much easier to come by so that's any natural item although if you have them on hand I recommend pumpkin pies because they fill it up with a hundred percent chance um, alternatively you can use a cauldron and fill it with water but there's a course the chance if you shift like so you can place it on the side and potentially destroy your redstone um, and it's also more expensive using iron so after you've done that we're going to place in another temporary block and then we're going to place in an observer block down like so running into a block with a sticky piston on its bottom and then we're going to have an observer running in this direction underneath that and now we're going to go on to step three so then what we're going to do is we're going to come in and place some extra blocks so what we're going to do is place a block here one row behind that we're going to place a block here on top of this note block and then what we're going to do is place a comparator on this note block facing towards the center with a block behind it, in front of it, and on top of it, all with three pieces of redstone dust on top of that. But then what we're going to do is going to come above this piston with the either composter or cauldron beneath it. We're going to go up with two temporary blocks, then we're going to have an observer facing downwards, 
we're going to place any transparent block next to that. So that could be a slab or a piece of glass. Um, and then we're going to place a repeater on four ticks on top of that and a repeater on four ticks on top of the observer as well. We're going to run those into a sticky piston facing downwards like so next to the repeater with an observer on its face. Then we're going to have a temporary block, a note block, and then we're going to come down with two observers. We're going to go across with two observers. We're going to come down with one observer like so, and then we're going to place a solid block there like so. So the next step is to move this cauldron or composter down by a block. And the best way I found to do this is to simply press this twice and then press it twice in quick succession like so. Um, and then we just want to move this observer round uh, into this direction like so. And let's move that down by a block. So the next step is to rebuild this half of the door on the other side of the door. And we're going to be rotating it for this. So we don't want to flip it. We want to actually come round and place the other side here like so. So with the stairs there, um, these blocks, these pistons like this, and then these pistons like this. So two blocks away. As you can see, it doesn't line up. It is this half on this half. So just simply go back to the uh, start of the tutorial, which will be displayed on the screen now and rebuild everything as if um, this half of the door wasn't there and you were just simply starting a tutorial from scratch. So you will see this redstone does um, creep onto the opposite side of the door but that doesn't matter because it simply fits into the space on the side as you can see. Um, so all is well. So um, once you get here for the second time we're going to continue with the tutorial. Um, so I'll cut forward and I'll have the second half of the door built. So as you can see, I have replicated the door um, onto both sides. Um, we've got this side here and this side here. And the next step is to fill in the central section. And after that, we're going to fill in the extra stuff which connects the sides together. So for now, the sides should be identical, just rotated. So as you can see, we've got the stairs on that side here and the stairs on that side here. So what we're going to do is going to grab our stairs and we're going to come round and we're going to place them facing this direction like this and like this and then we're going to come around to the other side um, and we're going to place them like this and like this. So they should actually connect to create flush sides which looks really nice. Um, and then what we're going to do is making sure that we keep the same reference direction from here on out. So I'm going to start on this side. Um, it doesn't matter which side you start on um, but I would recommend um, that you keep track of it because otherwise you're going to get yourself in a pickle. This is just a reminder that that reference direction is extremely important. So make sure you mark it and pay attention to it throughout the rest of this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to come with a top slab and we're going to place it here. And actually it's going to be a bottom slab. So for the confusion, we're going to place a slab there. So that is actually the roof of our chamber like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a sticky piston above that facing down and then another one facing down like so. So they may be a bit tricky to place, but they can be done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the left. We're going to place a block with a piece of redstone dust on it. Um, we're going to place a piston facing downwards. And then we're going to place an observer um, facing in towards the center. So this, again, may be tricky to place, but it can be done. And we're going to break that block. And, of course, this slab moves down. So we're going to move that one back up. And as you can see, the door is starting to come together. So we're going to head back to this side and move on to the next step. So the next step is to come over to this side. We're going to place a temporary block here and then we're going to place an observer block across breaking that temporary block. Then we're going to come down like so. We're going to place a hopper. Um, we can alternatively use a trap door here but a hopper works too um, which means it's more silent but a trap door is cheaper. We can then come down with a, another observer block with a piece of any uh, transparent block again so I'm going to use a slab here but you could alternatively use a piece of glass like that um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, the piston below that going across into the center and for this what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we place this um, here so that it connects like so um, so if we head out of the door that is a stair that is facing in this direction so it may actually be easier to place it from the bottom like so um, and then what we're going to do is break this block, we're going to place a stair there 
and this block and place a stair here so that they make this formation. So when we remove this block, they should be facing inwards and when we replace it, they should connect like that to create the flush chamber as you can see here. So at this point, I would recommend putting in the water. So we're gonna come behind and we're gonna place in a slab here and a slab here just to stop the water spilling out. And then we're gonna waterlog these two stairs like so. And then we're gonna come over to this side and we've already got blocks on the back blocking that off. So we can simply fill it with water. So water here and water here. So this means that when these stairs are moved out of the way, the water should flow into the center, creating a water source block. And that's how we generate the water inside of the contraption. So the next part of this door is going to be built on both sides of the door. And what we're gonna do is come over here um, to the right hand side and we're gonna place in two observers going across. We're gonna place one going upwards, uh, running into a hopper or it can be a trap door once again. Um, and then that hopper can uh, have an observer that ooh, is facing in this direction. Um, and we'll build that on the other side as well. So from here, we come to come across with two observers, come up with an observer, have a hopper there, and then we're gonna have an observer going across there once again. Starting from our reference direction, which is the direction that we chose earlier, we're going to come over to the opposite side and from here, what we're going to do is come over to this pulse extender little circuit here. Um, next to this piece of redstone dust, we're going to have a regular piston facing downwards. And then we're going to have an uh, observer block facing across like so with a piece of obsidian on top of it. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to break away these two blocks, place in a block here, have a redstone repeater on four ticks here, running into a block with a piece of redstone dust on top of it that connects to this piece of redstone dust. We're going to then have a sticky piston here facing downwards with an observer block on its face. And then down from this observer block, we're going to place another observer block and then we're going to remove this one over here. And then simply we need to uh, just trigger that again quickly twice to return it to its original state. Next, keeping on this same side, uh, so this is the opposite side to our reference direction we chose earlier, we're going to be placing a slab like this. We're going to be placing a redstone dust on top of that. Again, this can also be glass or any other transparent object. Um, and then what we're going to do is come diagonally up from this obsidian and place a, a note block with two observers running across. And then what we're going to do is have two blocks like this. Um, and we're going to have a redstone repeater on four ticks once again, and then we're going to have a piece of redstone dust there. From here, we want to go back over to our original side, so the redstone we just built is behind us, and we're once again facing in our reference direction. And this observer, we want to add another observer uh, facing towards us there. We want to have one going across there, two going downwards, and then we're going to have two going across running into this piston. Then what we want to do is come over here and place a slab, a piece of obsidian and a slab. Again, these slabs could be glass blocks. We want to place a repeater on four ticks, a repeater on two ticks, and then immediately change it so that both of these repeaters are on two ticks because I just lied to you. So make sure these repeaters are on two ticks. In the rest of the tutorial, one of the repeaters will be displayed on four ticks, but that is incorrect. So ignore me and set it to two ticks um, now. And I'll remind you again at the end of the video. We then want to place a piece of redstone dust with two more going across, a solid block with a piece of redstone dust on that as well. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to place a slab or transparent object. So that could be a piece of glass, for example, here, a four tick repeater down here. And then we're just gonna place a solid block and connect these two redstone lines like so. So then once again, we're gonna come over here against the side of this comparator, we're going to place a hopper um, or a trapdoor once again. And then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna place uh, two downwards facing observer blocks and then we're gonna have one observer block facing across. Now this may be particularly difficult to place but it should be possible if you position yourself just right. And I think, um, in survival, yeah, you may have some difficulty in survival, but you should. And yes, you can. If you place a slab here and then crouch into the gap, um, you can easily place that observer block running across like that. So that's just a little tip for building the contraption in survival. 
So we're really drawing to a close with the circuitry now. We're going to come over to this at the top and place three blocks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a uh, no block here with an observer block here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this sticky piston here. So we're going to come onto this side. We're going to place an observer block going across and an observer block going towards this hopper here. And then this observer block is going to have a four tick repeater on top of it. Then out of this top section here, we want to run some observers across. Uh, and we're going to have a block here with a redstone on top to power that repeater. And then we're simply going to have a sticky piston with an observer block facing towards here, like so. So we're actually drawing to the close of our redstone circuitry, if you wouldn't believe it or not. So for this next step, we're going to come down. We're simply going to place two pieces of obsidian underneath these two pistons. And then we're going to place in some blocks uh, for the holding chamber of the fish. So you want to come over like this and do four blocks like this. Then you want to come up and do two blocks here. We're going to place a soul sand block here. Um, and then what we're actually going to do is simply put water into these two edge blocks. Uh, we're going to quickly break away this block. We're going to place water in this there and in this space um, so that the bubbles flow. And then we can place that block back. And actually, I do believe that our door is done. So what we want to do is check that everything is in the right position. You don't want to activate the door yet. Um, you want to actually grab uh, these four blocks. You want to place them in these cavities here. So these are your glass blocks for the fronts and backs of the doors. So here and here, like so. And then what you want to do is check that these cauldrons are down on both sides. And of course, these could also be composters. And that these observers are out to the edges. Because um, a couple of disruptions may have made, been made to the circuitry during construction. Um, and also check that everything, of course, lines up in the right place. So these obsidian blocks are left to stop this shifting, this column. So if you have had uh, accidentally activated the circuitry uh, whilst you were building it, this column may have shifted slightly. So do check this specific column. Um, uh, the obsidian slash removal objects are stopping it moving. So you, you could always rebuild this column if it's wrong, uh, but everything else should have been maintained in its current state. This is also the point in the build process where you should remove any of the temporary blocks that you started with. So if you remember when I started, I marked out some blocks. So for example, this block here, um, there should be one over here. Now I removed that already. And there were a couple within the contraption as well that you should probably remove. If they happen to activate an observer block, um, then just make sure your contraption uh, is as just I just described. The other thing you want to look out for is again ensuring that these repeaters are both on two ticks. I did tell you to put one of them on four ticks in the tutorial. Um, so make sure they're both on two ticks. I did correct myself then but I'm reminding you now. Um, the other things to watch out for is make sure this water doesn't flow out um, of any of these little holy bits and run in front of the observers activating them. So the best way to prevent this is just to put some holes here. Um, to catch the water if it does flow off. Obviously, if you're building this in survival, you will probably have some sort of room or corridor surrounding so that it's not likely to flow out. But if it is able to flow out, then that is uh, an easy solution to prevent that. Um, one more thing, um, and that is the activation block. So the activation block is this over here. Um, so you can either activate it from the top like so, and as you can see, it works perfectly like that. Or you can activate it from the side. So I'll just deactivate it. As you can see, it still works. Um, you can activate it from the side like this with the lever there. Or you can run, um, for example, a repeater into that block. Oh, not into there. Oops, I might have just broken the contraption. You want to run the repeater into there or into there. So that's how it's going to go because you'll probably want to activate it from down here with some pressure plates. But of course, I've broken the contraption because I tried to place the repeater in the wrong place. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions or issues, remember to leave them down in the comments. And also remember you can check out my plot on the Synergy server down in the description if you want to look at this contraption and potentially if you're watching this in the future many more 
If you like this video, make sure to like, and if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Vortex Warp, and this video has sadly come to an end. Goodbye, guys.